Hello sailors, this is the Dodger Kebab and you're watching a video which is about one simple question. Now that Blizzard is launching World of Warcraft Classic, does this mean the death of private servers? It is a very simple question and one that has a very simple answer. No. No, this is not the end of private servers. So let's go through the talking points. Point one. The main reason is that there's always going to be people who don't want to or can't pay for the official subscription. The fact Legion servers exist and some have fairly decent population sizes prove this right away. If you wanted to pay Blizzard for Legion, you can do that right now and you don't need a private server to do so. But there are people that do play Legion private servers. Sure, some of those people are just dirty pirates, but some of those people simply can't afford to pay because of where they live. These people might have a job, a house, a car, a computer and internet all bought and done locally, but due to the dollar exchange rate in their local local currency being unfavourable, paying for a subscription is just not financially viable. I'm not saying these people are right to do this, I'm just telling you what su situations some people are in. Point two, not everyone wants to play vanilla. Now, this is the section I fall into. Sure, I'm going to try Warcraft Classic and then cash in on that sweet ad revenue, but I don't really want to main a character on vanilla again. If I did, I'd already have a main on Kronos and not a Wrath for the Lich King server. And yes, it would be Kronos. It wouldn't be Elysium, because that place is still dodgy, I think. And it wouldn't be the other one, because, oh, they were shocked that Elysium were taking money from people. Yeah, shocked they weren't getting a, as big a cut. Uh, anyway, I'm getting off track now. There are plenty of people on projects like Gamer District, Dalaran WoW, Warmain, Atlantis, even Firestorm, and many other projects that have no interest in playing vanilla either. And they're on those realms for just that reason. Yes, there are a lot of people who are interested and looking for classic vanilla, but there are also a lot of players who are more interested in Burning Crusade, Wrath of Lich King and Cataclysm. In the case of these players, Warcraft Classic is probably something they'll try out, then after the month sub runs out, they'll go back to whichever private server they came from. Point three. Now this is a point I don't think anyone is discussing, but Warcraft Classic has a slim chance of backfiring on Blizzard and actually pushing people to towards private servers. Many of us quit retail because we didn't like the direction the game has gone. Well, now Blizzard is about to offer everyone an official way to try the old style of playing again. There is a chance that Legion players will now suddenly remember the game they've been missing. The game they picked up during Burning Crusade and Wrath of the Lich King. They get a taste for the old ways and suddenly Legion doesn't cut it anymore. The vanilla Blizzard is offering is nice, but it's not the Burning Crusade or Wrath of the Lich King game that got them hooked in the first place. The existence of Warcraft Classic is a direct response to private servers and people know this. When some people taste vanilla and find it's nice but it's not quite the flavour they wanted, they could well turn to private servers to get the game they just found out they have been missing. So no, I don't think the game is over for private servers. I also don't think that Blizzard will support Burning Crusade and Wrath of the Lich King realms. I can't see them supporting four different versions of World of Warcraft. I very much doubt they want to have four different teams working on essentially one game. And think of what, from a casual player's perspective, anything beyond two versions of the game will just be confusing. If you open up Battle.net and you see World of Warcraft and World of Warcraft Classic, that is fairly self-explanatory. But then add in World of Warcraft The Burning Crusade and World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King, and suddenly looks confusing to what game you should be playing. Sure it makes sense to people watching this video, but you have to remember that you are more deeply involved in Warcraft than your average player. I think that private servers that support expansions beyond vanilla might see a dip at first when classic Warcraft launches, but I very much doubt that it will cause the death of them. Anyway, that's it. Have a